Okay, so let's jump into making a composite image using Photoshop for the iPad. So uh, I'm going to come down here to import and open, select that, and then uh, tap on files, and I'll tap on this alley image right here. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to come over here to this um, little image icon here and tap that, and then I'll tap files again, and I'm going to grab this uh, polar bear. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cut this polar bear out now. Um, let's see, so when you bring in an image like this, um, the transform controls are automatically selected. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a corner and size this bear. Okay, um, this one down here lets me rotate. Uh, okay, but just like that's fine. And maybe we'll make the bear about, oh, about that big. Okay, just like that. Okay, now let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and come up here to the corner. I'm going to hit done come over here and select my selection tools and I'm gonna press and hold and then select select subject alright and you can see it selected the bear alright and then let's see here it's not perfect looks like it didn't quite get the toe down there but we're actually not going to be showing the bears feet anyway so I'm not worried about that okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select mask we can do that here or we can also do that right here okay I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, select mask all right, and just like that, we've cut our bear out. Let's see here. I'm going to come over here to this square with the plus sign, and I'm going to select New Layer. All right, I'm going to come to this second icon down over here and tap on that and open up my Layers panel here so that I can see that my new layer is on top. All right. All right, coming back over here to my Selection Tools, I'm going to um, press and hold, and then I'm going to select the Ellipse Tool right here, all right? And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and drag a circle out, all right? And let's see, make it about that big. Okay, now I'm going to select my uh, paint bucket right here, all right? And if yours isn't showing, just tap and hold because there is a gradient tool too, okay? But just tap and hold and select the paint bucket. All right, I'm going to change my uh, foreground color here to a uh, magenta pink color something like that all right and then I'm gonna just tap inside that circle there now I've got a uh, circle all right then I'll come down here and select deselect okay now let's see here I don't want the whole circle I actually just want a ring so what I'm gonna do now is come back up here to my ellipse tool and then I'm gonna drag out another one and then I'm going to come over here to where it says more select that and then select transform selection all right, now I can actually drag these corners around like so and get the circle just inside. Bring it up a little bit. Okay, just kind of want to get a uh, hula hoop going here. So, something like that. That'll work, that'll work. I think I might make it a little bit bigger. I want it to be pretty, I want the hoop to be pretty thin. Ooh, that's going to work right there, okay? So I'm going to come up, up to the corner here and I'll tap done. All right, so now what I want to do is create a mask again and cut this out. However, if I hit mask right now, it's going to cut the center of it out. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select invert. Now I inverted my selection and now I can tap on mask. Boom, I've got a nice pink ring. Okay, so now let's see, I'm going to go ahead and pinch two fingers together and zoom out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I want to make this ring glow. And the way to do that is I'm going to um, see on the layer right here, I've got the layer mask, or I can select the actual image, right? The thumbnail image of the ring. Okay, if I tap on that, you can see the blue frame around the layer mask. I'm going to make sure that the, the image is selected. Then I'm going to come down here and um, to the bottom here and open up this, hit those three dots, and then I'm going to select duplicate layer. All right, and then I'm going to actually do that again. So I'm going to duplicate the layer one more time. All right, and then what I'm going to do is this bottom layer here, I'm going to blur that layer. So make sure that the bottom layer here is selected. And then I'm going to come over here to this little lightning bolt symbol with the rectangle right there. Tap on that and select Gaussian Blur. All right, and uh, that's blurred pretty good. Maybe I'll turn it down a little bit like so. Yeah, that'll work. And then I'll come up here and tap Done. All right, now I'm going to come up to the layer above it, and I am going to blur that again. So Gaussian blur, only I'm going to turn it down a bit. There we go. Well, not quite that much. Yeah, something like that. Ooh, that's perfect. Okay, now I'm going to tap done again. All right, if I turn these eyes on and off here, you can see what I did. I've got a lot of blur. I've got uh, 
a little less blur, then I've got the ring. Okay, that just makes it, give it that nice neon glow look. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is come over here and import in another image. I'm going to tap on that image icon, and then I will tap on Files. And let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and tap on this uh, snowy mountain picture right here. All right, and then I'll kind of move this around a little bit. Uh, it's going to be somewhere around like that. Then I'll go ahead and come up here and hit done. All right. Now, what I want to do is go back to my ellipse tool. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and move that layer so that it is below all of the ring layer. So I'm going to press and hold this layer and then drag it down and have it just be behind the bear and then let it go. Boom, just like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is make sure that the that layer is still selected, my snowy mountains. Come over here to my lips tool again, and then I'm going to drag out another lips like so. All right, and then I'll come down to more, and I will hit transform selection. Okay, now I can move it around. Let's see. Go ahead and drag it out. I want it to be just the same size. I want it to be just the same size as that ring. All right, I'm going to need to definitely just blow it up a little bit, grab a corner, pull it down. just has to be close enough. Let's see. All right, that's pretty good. I think if I just blow it way up and just move it over just a little bit. Okay, let's check the other side. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so I'm going to hit done. All right, and then I'm going to hit layer mask again down here. Boom. All right. There we go. Okay. And so now I'm going to select the bear layer. I'm going to come over here and make sure that my move tool is selected. Then I'll move that bear down a little bit like that. So his feet are sticking out a little bit. Then I'm going to come over to the layer and then let me move my touch shortcut out of the way. Okay. And then I'm going to make sure when I have the bear layer selected that I'm selecting the layer mask. Okay. Not the image, but the layer mask. I'll come over here to my paintbrush. And then I'll come down here and make sure that black is selected. All right. And then I'm going to, all right. And then I'm going to come over here where it says 608 right here and tap on that and bring the brush size down like that. Let's see. That's probably going to work. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the opacity is turned all the way up. And then I'm going to just paint the bear's toes out. Okay. Just like that. All right, let's be as quick as I can here. I don't want this to be too long of a tutorial. Okay, like so. I'm going to take two fingers and pinch them together. All right, so there's our bear. Okay, so now I want to make the bear kind of pinkish as well. So I'm going to come over here and make sure that the bear is selected, not the layer mask, but the bear. Then I'm going to come down here and select these three dots here down at the bottom and select Add Clipped Adjustment. I'll go ahead and hit Hue and Saturation again. Pull this up, and I will hit colorize like so all right and i'll go ahead and i can move the hue here and uh kind of give the bear color like that all right great um let's see i'm gonna go ahead and select the snowy mountainous picture and i'm gonna do the same thing again okay so i'm going to um create add clip adjustment hue and saturation colorize all right yeah something just like that that's gonna work okay um, let's see, I might actually pull the, see how I can, uh, affect the opacity of the uh, adjustment layer like that. So I might bring it down a little bit that, so it's, that's a little too pink, just something kind of like that. Okay. That'll work right there. Okay. Let's take a look. Um, yeah. Awesome. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to make some areas around the alley glowing, just like, you know, the curb, the wall, a little bit down below, just so, uh, Give it the um, illusion that the glowing hoop is actually like casting purple light off inside the alley. So the way to do that is I'm going to uh, select the top layer here. Then I'm going to select the square right here with the plus sign in it and select new layer. Okay, now I got a new layer on top. All right, I'm going to come over here and select my brush. Make sure that I still have like a nice magenta color here with the brush. Um, I'll check my brush size and eh, I want a bigger brush than that like so That'll work make sure that I've got the hardness turned down to zero. Okay. All right, that'll work So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint some under here like that Yep um, Let's see definitely paint some over here definitely paint on this curb paint some up the wall right there Let's see. Oh 
yeah, like a little bit up here too, like so. Okay, like that. And then, yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, cool. Now what I'm going to do is um, open up the uh, properties panel again. So that's this icon right here. Boom. Whoops. Open up that. Looks like I need to drag it up. Okay. You can see where it says blend mode right here. I'm going to tap on that. And then you can kind of just go through all these and play with them. But I think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to do screen. I think I'm going to do soft light. Boom. Yeah, that works. That works. That works. Um, yeah, that totally works. I think I might paint in a little bit more like so. And then I'm going to bring the opacity down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, let's blur this. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I still have that layer selected, and I do. I'm going to come over here to this little lightning bolt symbol right here. Um, hit that, and I'll hit Gaussian blur, and then I'll turn that blur up a bit. Yeah. Actually, let's turn it up all the way like that. That's actually, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to come over here and tap done. And then I am going to bring the opacity down a bit. So let's, I have my layers panel here. So this is my uh, layer properties panel. Okay. And then I'm going to just bring the opacity down a bit. It doesn't quite need to be that bright. Okay. It'll be like that. So opacity all the way down is completely transparent. Okay. Maybe I'll turn that up to about... 71 that'll work all right and then i'll come up here to the second icon down here and close my layers and then i'll close my properties panel and let's see get my touch shortcut out of the way and take a look here boom all right so that was really quick um but as you can see with just a few different cuts and a couple of images you can make a fun composite all right so that's a brief introduction in creating composite images with photoshop for the ipad thanks